Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper, and today is our follow-up video of the drill press table that I machined on the boring mill. Now, when I said that was the most absurd way of doing it, many of you liked that comment, and many of you uh, thought that it was still probably one of the better ways to do it. There was a lot of suggestions of the lathe in the fore jaw. Yes, you could have done that. Um, the shaper, you know, the bridge port, whatever. But he wanted to reproduce the finish that was on it originally. And that's the best thing I came up with was my big fly cutter on the boring mill. That gave me the and most rigidity also for setup. And there was a lot of comments about the mounting surface back here, how I should have indicated off of these grooves. You know, this is a drill press table. It mounts to the, to the bracket and it's made to do this. You get it where you want it and you lock it in. And I'd be willing to bet, yeah, this is a dowel hole. I did find that out after the fact, but that is never at 90 degrees. I know that for a fact. So he's gonna get it on there. He's gonna indicate it and clamp her down tight where he wants it and that'll be great. So he asked me jokingly to make this aerospace. Honestly, I think we might've hit it, but <laughs> so, a lot of you were commenting on the, the, and questioning the method of setup, and there really wasn't a good way to set this up. There's a lot of ways I could have done it different, but the table on this mill is in line with the spindle, perfectly square, true to each other, um, and that's how you set up a boring mill. You indicate off the table, get that all level and true, and then you true your spindle to it, and this mill is just about spot on, especially for something this small. If I was doing something three feet tall, I might get a little concerned, but I have done that in the past and we really didn't have any issues. So clamping it to the table was the smart way of doing it. And then because this thing was in such rough shape, finding two good points that measured out, you know, the same and indicating that and, and running it around was the best way to do it. I just couldn't think of a better way. And then, you know, when I ran the indicator all around it, we found problems all over this thing. It, it was a mess. So um, the clamps that I put on with the rubber or the hard foam, that really helped with the vibration, but probably not as much as I would have liked. Um, but again, this thing is not, it is not very heavy. So obviously there's a lot of issues there with that. But um, the, uh, the viewer that sent this to me, he watched the video, he absolutely loved it. Um, so I'll be sending this out to him probably, um, probably Wednesday when this video comes out for all of you. So I hope you enjoy it. And now I wanna talk about what's coming up. All right, well, we're over here at the Bridgeport and you can see I got quite a mess going on because I've been drilling pin jaws. Drilling and drilling and drilling. And I hate drilling, as many of you know. This is my least favorite job in the shop. So there are 12 sets here that I'm working to finish up right now. I've got 20 sets over on the cart that are done, just need to be packaged, and they'll ship out um, probably on Wednesday, which this video comes out on Wednesday. So those of you that ordered, um, that are waiting, there's gonna be the first batch will go out, and I'm hoping by the end of the week and early next week to get all the rest of the orders out. Um, we also have another pile back here that I gotta finish up. So I have roughly 16 sets of extra that we didn't sell. We shut down the ordering because I knew I was going to get in a little bit of trouble. Um, so I will open ordering back up. I have another additional 50 plus sets, uh, right around 55, but I'll leave a little, you know, for scrap just in case. Um, 55 sets though, roughly, that'll be in process um, starting next, next week. I'm getting the material in and we'll start another batch of 55 so I will open up the ordering and we'll sell out those. And once those are sold out, we'll shut off the ordering again. And then once those are completed, I will get them shipped. So be patient if you've ordered, um, you know, I'm building, doing these in small batches, trying to keep, you know, keep the quality up. The small batches are what, you know, I'm, is allowing me the best quality of the product. Cause the other thing is, is the tumbler can only take so many jaws at a time. I did 20 sets and that was just a little too much. So I'm trying to do 12 sets at a time, which works out really well. Um, so that's what's going on there with the pin jaws. So if you're waiting on a set of pin jaws or you wanna order a set of pin jaws, check the website. They're probably gonna be some available. 
and we'll get those shipped out as quickly as we can, but be patient. Um, like I said, on the, on the site, it says three to four week lead time for manufacturing, and that is an accurate assumption. So um, with the ones that I have on hand, we'll ship out this week into next, and then uh, around March 1st will be the next batch we'll ship. So if you wanna get your orders in, I'd greatly appreciate it, and we'll just kinda gauge things from there as we go. So, and to all of you who have already ordered, thank you so much, I greatly appreciate it. Um, They've kept me very, very busy. So that's, that's awesome. Now, I, I do want to address one, one comment, uh, a viewer comment that got left on that video that I just was absolutely blown away by its gross stupidity. And I'm just going to throw it up here so you can read it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that comment, and I, I just, I am absolutely blown away by it. Um, I feel sorry for the guy. Anyway, these are the jaws ready to go out. They are all done. The pins fit absolutely beautifully, just as we want them. We don't want any slop. You know, you want them to go in nice and snug. Um, one of my viewers that got the, one of the first sets, he thought there was a problem. It came UPS. He was, you know, checking out the pins, so they warmed up, and then he tried fitting them to the jaw, and they would not go in. They're that close of a tolerance, so if you get them and they don't fit, check the temperature, because these are less than one thou fit, and we want them like that so that you don't get any rock when you put tension on them, so that's why they're so tight. So um, these are the ones that are going out possibly today when the video comes out, so those of you waiting, thank you again. And until the next video, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.